Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna show or discuss a workaround for an issue which has been recently introduced with the latest hotfix, where they fixed an issue with reverse throttling, but it looks like that it introduced another issue with the throttling for other airplanes. It does not happen with all aircrafts, but I found it out on several fora that it's mainly hitting for party uh, add-ons. So, to fix the issue or to work around the issue, what you need to do is go to the control options and then make sure that you select the controller which you want to use for throttling, in this case the TWCS uh, throttle. Then in the search by name you can search for throttle, which will show you the current assigned axis for the throttle, which is the throttle axis. Uh, if you scroll down, you will find throttle 4, 3, 2, and 1, which are, I would say, referring to the engines which they're assigned to. And what works for most people is uh, assigning them to at least engine 1 and 2. So I'm going to assign it so you can click start and then simply move the throttle and then it will give you the warning, hey, it's already bound to something else. Do you want to continue? You click validate and do the same thing for engine number two so we can click scan it will give now two items listed again click validate and then you can see that it's being assigned right so if we now would move it you would also see if we scroll down that it moves here right so that's good so once you've done that you can click on apply and save and go back to the simulator and it should work. It doesn't work for all the aircrafts. Uh, as you can see, for some reason in this F-22A, it doesn't work for uh, engine number one, but it works for engine number two. Uh, I tried assigning it to engine three and four also in this case for this aircraft, but that didn't fix the issue for this one. So probably there's something also wrong with this aircraft, or actually there's nothing wrong with this aircraft, but it looks like that the engine is managed a different way compared to other aircrafts. So again, this is a workaround. It's not the real, I would say, resolution for the issue, issue but now you can at least uh, still use those aircrafts for those where uh, it's not working. In my case, uh, where it didn't work for the other engine, right, I can still use the throttle manually by uh, clicking it here. Uh, but of course, that's not really an option, uh, I'd say, for most of us, because you want to use the joysticks. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.